Hi, Survivors. It's me, Prepper Zan, reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in this world is not. I was laying down because I'm exhausted, but um, I just thought about it. I, I wouldn't want to talk to y'all about what's going on out here. The, the, the M-I-G-R-A-N-T-S that lied in and that whole evil administration allowed just to cross the borders and stuff. They say since he's been in office, over four or five million have come into this country, right? So now a lot of them are out here because we know the Texas governor, he been shipping them up here. Um, some other people have as well, allegedly. And then, they, you know, they just been coming through out here anyway. So they putting these people up in hotels, shelters, feeding them, all that. I'm not saying there's something wrong with it, but we have people who were born and raised here can't get help. We have people who come from veterans or, and who are veterans who can't get help. We have elderly people, senior citizens. Senior, senior, we have people who, who um, ancestors built this country, can't get no help. We have people who have put so much time and, t and paid so much taxes, can't get no help, all nationalities. But anyway, so these people were on TV the other day, right? complaining, talking about they're not getting enough food for their kids. And in my mind, I was like, did nobody tell you to come over here? And then I know what you're getting over here is way more, even though it may not be as much as you expected, it's probably way more than what you was getting where you come from. And then, y'all, they were complaining so much. And then they were like, they were like, oh, they won't let us work, you know, because they're not U.S. citizens. If they let us work, and then we can, you know, make money to feed our own families. And they were just, I mean, it was just so many complaints. And I'm like, wow, wow. Y'all over here in a better place, you don't have to pay any rent. You are getting more better treatment than Americans are right now. And you're complaining that your baby's getting one thing of milk or one thing of juice. You go out there, you do what you got to do to get the rest for your kid. Thank God that you're not paying for shelter like the rest of us who are having problems with these demonic landlords. Not all landlords are demonic, but the ones who are going up $1,000, $1,700, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars on people's rent. They don't have to even worry about that. They don't even have to worry about the one or two meals that they are getting. Y'all, I can't tape the news like I used to because, um, YouTube started giving me strikes, and that's why I started being careful with what I was putting out here, you know what I'm saying, because I want to be responsible, and I still want to be able to have access to you guys and whoever want to hear the truth, so, you know, I just be trying to be careful, you know what I mean, so, because I like to show proof of what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing, most of y'all know I'm not reporting no lies, and I'm not telling no lies on here, so this is really going on, man, and it was so many of them, and so they showed the little baby, when the little baby had finally got some milk, that little baby towed that milk up. But what they're not realizing is we everybody's going through of severe food shortages. Everybody's going through being deprived of the resources and stuff that we have. Why they let all them people come over here to, to further deplete the resources? Because allegedly, because we a lot of us suffering over here not being able to eat the way that we usually normally be able to eat because people can't afford food and whatnot. So if you're getting food for free in any kind of way, whether you're getting that EBT card with or you getting services like them people there, man, be grateful for it because a lot of us are having to pay for this stuff out of our own pockets. And it still don't be good enough. Like y'all already know, I eat that one meal a day. I don't even play it. I, I told y'all this about a year ago. I said, y'all start getting ready for this stuff. Stop eating that eat, eating so much because in a minute, it's not going to be no food left anyway. Get your body used to not eating that much. It's healthy on your life anyway, unless you're taking some medicines and you have to eat, you know, to take your medication. So I started preparing myself for this years ago, man, when I started seeing all these illnesses come out here and all these different agendas and whatnot. And I'm still um, preparing myself for the years to come because it's really just getting started. But y'all, and then, so the mayor went on because they was asking the mayor why these people not getting fed the way they're being fed. He said they getting, he said they getting food. He said, this is one of the most hu humane uh, cities. And I'm not going to lie, this city gives a lot. They give a lot to people that be in need. That's why they sending them all up here and a lot of them coming up here because these people, they be helping them, you know? 
So they're complaining. They're in hotels. They're in um, shelters. Y'all, they get all kinds of vouchers. EBT, WIC, this, that, another. They're getting, um, what do you call that? First dibs at the thrift stores. All they just getting like the walk, the red carpet treatment, but they're still complaining, and it's unbelievable. You have a handful of them saying they're grateful for whatever they get because they're getting more now than what they were getting over there at home in Venezuela and all these different places they're coming from. A lot of them are ha happy to be in the shelters. They're happy to be in these hotels. They live. They feel like they living like kings and queens. And then you have a lot of other ones who are just complaining as if they they are entitled to just come over here and get first class treatment like American citizens are supposed to be. Man, y'all better y'all better put your seatbelt on, man. I'm telling you the stuff I'm seeing, the stuff I'm hearing. I've been seeing it for the last couple of years, you know, and now these people getting all these different things and they're complaining. And, and the crazy part about it, like I just mentioned, they're not going through what so many Americans who were born and raised here and their families and, and ancestors come from here who put in so much time and hard work into the system can't get a dollar from lighting. Everybody else seals shit. U dash K dash R dash rain. They getting billions and billions. These people that they allow across the border from these other places, they getting stuff. But what are Americans getting? What are Americans getting? messed over that's exactly what it is so y'all just um you know it, 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 you know you talking about four or five millions of people and they got to eat every day they got to have water they got to have food this is why i was telling y'all years ago when people was taking up for them but now we, we're facing so many severe food shortages over here ourselves i'm not saying i don't care about these people i don't say i'm not saying that that's good for them. I'm, I don't act ugly like that. And I don't think ugly like that. I just think about us because we've been here. You know what I'm saying? We're being deprived. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's the first law of nature is to take care of yourself. How I'm going to be caring about other people who's not even from my home. And I'm, I live here and I'm from here. And I care about myself and other people who are, uh, who are from here and live here. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair that other people who haven't put any time into the system, who haven't paid any taxes, who haven't contributed anything, come over here and get all this great treatment. And you have people who've been living over here forever who's getting messed over. And that's just how I feel. And I don't care about who like it or who don't like it. That's just what it is to me. So y'all give this video a thumbs up. Y'all be careful because, man, I'm telling y'all, all these people that keep on bringing over here, all these people that's been over, that's over here now, that they brought over here. They depleting. They are also depleting the resources. I told y'all this was going to happen. I said, man, we already having food shortages and water shortages and water contamination. You bringing more people over here. What y'all think that's going to do? A lot of y'all want to be friendly, though. Okay. Well, I'm going to see how, how friendly y'all going to be when they taking food out y'all kids' mouth and out of y'all mouth while they complaining about the free stuff that they already getting. Please follow me on my other platforms. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Please support the allegedly and the good luck with that t-shirt. And if you're looking for land and bug out areas in Texas, I have some for sale and for lease. These are all products that I own. It goes back into all proceeds go back into helping get keeping this channel running. And um, you guys stay prayed up, stay prepped up. And as always, watch this world, watch the weather, smell your water, boil your water before you use it and keep surviving.